Anyway, one night, my partner, he calls him sick. It's just me. I get the call, I go to the house. Same old story. She broke her nose in the shower type of thing, right? So I put him in the cuffs, I put him in the back seat of the car, and I'm driving him down to the station. Except this night, this sideways asshole is in my back seat singing Danny Boy. And it just rubbed me wrong. So instead of a left, I made a right. So I'll ask you, when you go into that chapel and you fall on your knees and you pray to God that your wife doesn't miscarry or that your daughter doesn't bleed to death or that your mother doesn't suffer neural trauma from post-operative shock. Who do you think you're praying to? Now, you can read your Bible and go to church. With any luck, you might even win the annual raffle. But if you're looking for God, he was in operating room number two on November 17th, and he doesn't like being second-guessed. Ask me if I have God complex. Let me tell you something. I am God. And this sideshow is over. I liked you. Like, we had a fair share of good times, but I don't want to marry a pilot. I thought you understood. I want to live a life overseas. I want to be the wife of an aviator. Damn you, Sid! God damn you! Nobody DORs after 11 weeks. Nobody. She was finished. No. She told me everything she knew. No, so, so I, 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 I took her in the back seat and, and, uh, and, uh, and I banged her, but you know something? It was the best. It was the best I ever had. You know, it wasn't because she, it wasn't because she knew a lot of tricks or like that. You know, it was because she told me about the Soviet Union, and then she left. No matter how hard I was hitting him, just, it just didn't seem like enough. No. Now look at his face. His teeth, they were, they were all broken. And then he falls to the ground. And I stomp on his chest and I hear something break. But I know that I, sure as hell, did not come down from the goddamn Smoky Mountains, cross 5,000 miles of water, fight my way through half of Sicily and jump out of a fucking airplane to teach these Nazis a lesson in humanity. These Nazis, they have no humanity. They are the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering fucking maniac. And they need to be hey, Bobby destroyed. Six feet. Hey, Kalinda! Over here! Yeah, let her through. I just thought I'd see how you guys were getting on. Oh, you don't have to tell a story. We're gonna show you everything. Kind of the ASA? Yeah! He says you're gonna find out anyway. Hey, uh, you're going to need one of these, too, to get into the library. It's a student card. Your client said that they were in here at 11, huh? That's the time of the murder. I think they said around 11. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know, it's 45 minutes from here to the pharmacy, so that would have to be a hell of an around. We didn't know what we were doing. And uh, my great aunt Frida had warned us to be careful when giving her a bath. You know, uh, she has no muscle control. She could get brain damage if her head flops around. We were terrified. So, obviously when we got home, we took her for her first bath. So Andrew got the baby book, he read me the directions step by step as I followed along. And, um, well, in the right hand he kept the baby book. In the left, Victor oh, was okay. I, I can't take it anymore. Do you really want to know why your fiancé left you? Yes, more than anything. Because you're a little bitch. What? No, no, I'm just, I'm just nice. Yes, no, no. I've been listening to you for what seems like an eternity, and you're definitely not that nice. I mean, come on. You're just a coward who's scared of people not liking you. I mean, there's a big difference. 
I mean, come on. Look at me, Tom. Uh, okay, yeah. Every girl <laughs> wants a nice guy. But they also want a guy that's going to say, hey, I am not going to goddamn fold your underwear six different ways. I am a man, and you need to respect my ass. Because you understand you wanted to protect Felix, you can't do that anymore. You can, however, protect yourself. If you withdraw your statement, we won't charge you as an accomplice after the fact to murder. And hey, look, you gotta understand me. My brother never meant to do this. He, he, he just lost his temper and she's what did she do? She fought back? No, no, he got a weird text in the middle of the night. What text? Not from Chloe. He wouldn't show it to me. He, he was really mad and, and I thought, oh God. He told me he shoved it and, and it was an accident. Did that attack look accidental to you, sir? Tell us where Felix is. Working out. He's training for the fight that's gonna supposed to change our lives. He's already had it. We need you to wait here a while. Hey, hey, please. Just, just don't hurt him, please. Yeah. 